care which mic I take here? Well, good afternoon. Um, Governors Weldon, Dukakis, and I, along with several staffers on both sides, uh, just spent about an hour going over um, a lot of the conceptual design associated with uh, the North-South Rail Link. It was a very interesting conversation, and, um, and I certainly um, I have some homework to do uh, with respect to this. But my view on this, and I said this to both governors, um, is when it comes to projects like this, the devil is very much in the details. And while it's not possible necessarily um, to get every answer to every question, because in many cases um, they're not all answerable all at once, these are, um, these are projects that should be treated with a high degree of respect, and, uh, and we plan to treat it that way. Well, that's exactly the sort of thing where the details matter, and there's a lot of debate about um, about the projected cost. I would say the uh, the conversation ranged somewhere between two and four billion, depending upon the um, some of the assumptions that people were making. Not eight billion. Did not hear that number. No. What's the next step now to something that? You well, I want to spend, I want to read the report. Okay, I want to read the report. I want my team to read the report, and we'll do some follow up with our um, internally on this, um, and. Uh, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Do you have any plans to authorize the uh, study that the legislature put in the transportation that was one of the thing, That was one of the things we talked about. Um, I need to look at that and figure out if, in fact, that would be adequate. Remember, um, that, that, that $2 million appropriation was based on a set of assumptions about the work that would be required and the scale of the work that may have changed since then. Um, that was to complete a study that was originally begun before we actually submerge the central artery and a lot of the development that took place on the north side of, uh, of the central artery had actually happened. So we need to do some homework to figure out what that, would act, what that kind of a study would actually cost. Governor, what's the most compelling argument that makes you want to do it? Well, I didn't say one way or another with respect to whether I want to do it, okay? I want to be very clear about that. To me, a lot of this is about, I mean, this is a lot of money, taxpayer money. and. Um, a lot of people call me skeptical when I get when I get into these conversations. I'm not being skeptical. I'm being cautious. There's a difference. And what I would say um, is the most compelling part of the argument is the opportunity. Um, instead of having to have big staging areas at both ends, north and south station, sort of a layover area for trains to come into. South Station from the south, wait, turn around, and head back out with the evening rush, and to do the same thing on the north side. The most compelling part about this is the ability to run a train all the way through, find layover land on either end of it, which you're going to need anyway, but it doesn't have to be directly at each station. Um, connect to some of the subways directly, which would help with some of the issues around transition for people who need to ride the commuter rail and the subway to get where they're going, uh, and to not have to uh, to think about this as two separate entities, but be able to run it through and then do the layover where it may, wherever it made the most sense. Governor, what kind of priorities is this going to take, especially this year, just months after the team basically stopped working for six weeks? Well, my, 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 my focus is to fix the T, and I've made that very clear, and I've made it very clear to everybody who works for me, and I've made it pretty clear to everybody in this building. Um, and I do believe fixing the T is my highest and our administration's highest priority. But obviously in the larger context of um, economic development and regional planning, not just for the Boston area, but for the rest of the Commonwealth, this is certainly something that's worth considering as part of that. Would this be a reasonable alternative to uh, expansion of South Station? Not from my point of view. Certainly from Governor Dukakis's point of view it would be, not from mine. I don't think it has to be, no. Are you a supporter of the South Station expansion? Uh, that depends a lot on what happens with respect to the post office, but I think the, I think the opportunity to open up Dorchester Ave, to develop all that area along the canal, um, and to expand South Station is, um, is something that we will and absolutely should consider. That also requires a ton of detail work as well. Well, there's a huge... There's a huge mixed-use development associated with that as well. And how much would that cost you? Yesterday? Well, the interesting thing about that is because you'd be doing a ton of development along with it, the development based on some of the studies that have been done, and admittedly, they're old, so we'll have to go back and update them. 
But some of the studies that have been done on that indicate you could pay for the expansion um, with the money that you'd make on the development. It's literally the ultimate transit-oriented development project. Say again? Could you not do that with this link as well? I don't know. I mean... Because they talk about freeing up, as you say, layover land that's just sort of sitting there wasted right now. That's one of the details we've got to spend some time on. I'm... Uh, Sorry. Go ahead. Would the tunnel need to be about three or four miles, or would it just be able to run between the two stations? No, the tunnel would probably... It would probably submerge around with that circle, ironically, on uh, the south side which none of us, I had never even heard of what that circle until we got into the conversation about the Olympics, and it would come up um, on the far side of Mystic River. And would you be able to run... Because you can only, the issue is you can only run a certain level. Um, you can only, the grade that's required is limited with respect to how far down you can go. And would you be able to run diesel trains through there? Or? Not clear. That's another question we've got to spend some time on. So if you come around... I thought it was a pretty interesting presentation. That's what I said at the beginning. Um, but as I also said at the beginning, um, there's a lot of money and a lot of moving parts involved here. And when you're talking about this amount of money and this many moving parts, we have a lot of homework to do. Would you have taken a meeting on the North South Rail Link if not for two former governors? Would you sure. I mean, my, this will make him crazy, but I'll take a meeting with a lot of people. Um, and I do all the time, much to the chagrin of my staff on all kinds of stuff. The fact that it was two former governors, a Democrat, Republican, one of them, the former boss, yeah. give any more weight to this idea that you sort of think twice or a third time? I actually think to some extent, look, I have tremendous respect for anybody who's had this job, um, even more now that I've had it myself for a little while. Um, if, if somebody who's a former governor or somebody who's, you know, a former secretary of transportation or a f somebody who comes to the th with a certain amount of legitimate, relevant experience wants to come talk to our administration about most anything, um, I would hope we would be open to hearing them out. I really, I, 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 I do have to go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And the independence of it, maintaining that, can you address Well, I certainly think the independence is, is critical to the success and performance of the operation. And she and I met um, yesterday and talked about a bunch of things, um, including that. I also let her know that we'll have an acting in place by the end of the week and, uh, and a permanent, permanent announce shortly thereafter. Um, I've been, I can tell you point blank as an administration, we've been very uh, cognizant of the fact that that is an independent operation and should be treated that way. Um, and I would hope that you would acknowledge that we have um, we've provided them and supported the independence that they believe they need to do their work. The other thing I would say is that a big part of what's in her report um, thematically and conceptually is very consistent with what was in the report we released last week, which is you have an organization that in many cases hasn't updated many of its core policies for 10, 11, 12, 14 years, and it's very hard uh, to expect folks on the front line in the absence of the playbook that leadership is supposed to provide to them to get their work done, which is why so many of the first initiatives of uh, Commissioner Spears has been around building out that playbook, whether you're talking about intake policy or permanency planning or um, uh, what I would call sort of the, the, the practice management kit for dealing with in-home uh, service provision. I mean, it's all of that stuff just has a ton of work that has to get done. Do you think there should, be, should have been a, more of a transition between her office and the person you plan to name? Uh, I, it's a small operation. Um, they have a great relationship with the comptroller. They certainly have a good relationship with us, which they can mine anytime they want. Um, I think we'll be fine. Did you learn anything new from this preliminary report? I'm actually more interested in what's going to be in the final report, which will be issued in November. I, I said this to Gail yesterday, that the thing that was... Um, most um, encouraging might be the wrong word here because it sounds too positive. But the thing that was encouraging to me about that report when I flipped through it yesterday when she and I were, were talking about it is it did reflect many of the same issues that we had raised in the hard work report, which makes me think that we and they are, they've been looking at this for a lot longer than we have, uh, but they came to many of the same conclusions. That makes me think that we're heading down the right path. We just need to move quickly in. And, and capably along that path. Thanks, I really do have to go. Thank you, guys.
Maybe I'm not going. <laughs>